So uh, my name is uh, Simon Merod. Uh, I'm the manager of this uh, family house. It's been in the family for more than 500 years. Uh, the original tower has been built in the 14th century. Um, and as I said, the, 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 the good thing with the climate crisis with historic houses is they've been built uh, with the manpower, uh, local uh, materials. And so they are, in their building process, they've been more or less CO2 neutral or CO2 negative. The problem we have is in the use of the house, it's huge volumes. How do we uh, try to uh, decrease the impact uh, on the CO2 emissions? Because this is what the IPCC is asking us, 20% decrease every year until we reach net zero emission in 2050. So as a family with my brothers and sister, we, we said, look, it's, it's a bit useless to try to maintain historic heritage if it's to destroy the future. So let's try to do our part there. So uh, besides the, the, the windows, which we all change into double glass or the isolation in the, in the attics, uh, we worked this year on the heating system. Uh, and there is so much water around the house that we tried to figure out how can we use the calories that are in the water, so the warmth accumulated in the water, thanks to the sun, thanks to the ground, and use it to eat the house. Um, it's a very simple process. It's called aquathermy. It's work with a heat pump. The, it, it, the technology exists since years and years and years. The only issue is that it's always been used for new buildings or buildings which are heated with a, a low temperature. Uh, it's never really been plugged apart in one house in uh, one castle in Holland. It's never really been plugged in such a huge uh, old and old system with big volumes like this, at least in Belgium. Uh, so we met engineers and they said it's completely possible. The increase of the technology, the, the, the power of the heat pumps are now, if you put the right heat exchanger in the mode, it's gonna work. So what is the principle is, there is warmth in the water. We, put, we did put, I think, three heat exchangers of uh, five meters on two meters in the moat at a place where there's a lot of uh, current, I mean, a lot of current. The water is being pushed away by new water uh, relatively well. So we, in the heat exchanger, there is water mixed with the liquid so that it doesn't freeze. The water goes in the heat exchanger, takes the warmth from the uh, moat, brings it in the heat pump. The heat pump does it, its work with the gas compression, the compression, and creates extra heat. And actually, it creates almost in the, in the real winter, it creates almost enough energy to compensate for the energy that we lose in the heating system of the house. So when the water leaves at 50 degrees in the radiators and comes back at uh, 46, the heat pumps creates the four degrees that we are losing. And so basically we are using a part of the calorie in the water. We bring it in the heat pump. The heat pump increases the warmth difference and sends it in the, in, in the heat system of the house. So it, it works pretty well. And the only energy that we need is electricity to, to, to make the heat pump turn. And for that, we did place solar panels on the roof of a, of, of a warehouse so that we don't have to disturb the, the, the facade or the roof of the castle. And we only pay for the distribution to the network provider uh, for the energy that we produce on our warehouse to be consumed here. In the winter, the solar panel only have 20, 25% return. So we still need to, to use electricity from the network. But we are looking at other opportunities, uh, wind malls in the chimneys 
which are not all in use anymore. Uh, there's a lot of wind we are realizing when we do fire here. We see sometimes in the morning that some of the ashes are back on the carpet. So there's definitely wind in the chimney. How much electricity can we produce with the wind without that we, we see it uh, with a, a wind turbine? We don't know, but we know that some other buildings are trying this. Uh, so we are looking at every opportunity to create extra electricity. And in case we don't have enough, we have our own engine producing electricity based on gas and then we recuperate the heat to put it in the system. So this year we are decreasing uh, the CO2 emission by 50% uh, uh, for, the, for the heating system only. Uh, probably a bit more because of the solar panel and the electricity. And so the objective is to keep decreasing every year. See where we can. It's a game almost. It's, it's becoming a game and it's a funny one uh, and, and a useful one. It was not difficult because they were pretty convinced uh, that uh, it would work. And they knew that such a building which is it's still for Flanders. It's a, it's an iconic historic house. Uh, there are four or five like this in 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 Flanders, maybe in Belgium, and so for them it's it's uh, it's an added value because they got an, a press article. We got a, a, a reward from the Federation of the Energy Transition. Uh, we, we won the prize. Uh, so now they they come every week with owner of other buildings to show how it works here. So, I, I mean, it's good if the house, if historic houses can, can be used to show and lead the way to the future or be part of the energetic, tra energetic transition, then I think it's very important that we do it and that we show the example, that we, we stop the critics before they arrive, that all those houses consume way too much energy and that it's something from the past. So if we want to protect the future of those houses, we need to be leading the energy transition. So it was not difficult to find people who wanted to help us, no. No, we didn't think about subsidies because the problem is, again, it's the same. We are lucky to have uh, been working well before and just after COVID. So we had a bit of reserve and we decided to use them, um, even though it might not have been the best financial choice. Maybe we could have waited for subsidies and stuff. The problem is if you put a euro against every decision that you need to make in the energy transition, nothing will happen. At one point, we need to move forward and we need to have not only the euro, but we need to have the impact, not only financial impact, but the impact you have for the visibility of such a project, of such a technology, or for the visibility or the impact you have on the planet. Uh, what is the value for the nature? Everyone counts in euro. We need to, we need to switch. It's like the GDP, oh, the GDP of this country, the GDP of this country. But if the GDP of China is so high, but no one can live there because it's so polluted, then we need to take that into account, actually, in the GDP. I'm, I'm, I'm always been, I've always been completely puzzled about this GDP thing and this growth. If growing is to feel worse after you grew, then I prefer to remain small, you see, uh, which I am, by the way. So uh, it's, it, it, it's uh, for us, it needed to be interesting at an economical level. Otherwise, we would not have done it. But we were not there calculating, am I going to, save 5% or 10% or 15%, we, for us, the statu quo in terms of cost was good as well. Uh, so we, we, we didn't count until the last year, no. I have no advice to give to other people, but I think everything depends on the house itself to start with. Do you have water? Do you have wind? Do you have sun? You'll probably not do the same in Spain as you do here. Uh, do you have bad agricultural land where you can't exploit anything and where you should try to create a, 
agri photovoltaism projects, which we are doing on another estate right now. Um, I say everything starts with the loca lo location, how much energy do you need? So there are different technologies. They are there. You just need to go and look and, and find the best way. We, we also looked at putting solar panel on the actual roof of the castle. We had the authorization of the listed buildings to put it on the uh, on the 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 dependance, so the, the the other building. But still, I'm I'm not convinced. Um, electricity in a roof full of wood, it's a bit dangerous. So so I was not in favor of that. I would have preferred that they gave me the authorization to put it on the bank of the river. Uh, but then you have problem for biodiversity sometimes. So it's you need to look at all the options uh, uh, but water is definitely something that a lot of castles have and where they should look at it because you don't need you don't need you don't need huge lakes of 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 uh, surface of water you just need enough to get the calorie you need for the interior of the house so if the house is not as big as here but it's got water and a bit of current it works. Thank you.